clocks. This is just good for early shoulder mobility, uh, especially fear of movement, a lot of guarding when trying to mobilize the, the shoulder. So if 12 o'clock is up at your ear, six o'clock down at your waist, you're going for smooth controlled motion and you can go from smaller range to bigger range. But as I go to my one o'clock, I'm gonna bias that a little bit more towards the back of my head and my seven o'clock more down by my belt buckle through that kind of quadrant. Um, when you're first learning it, you don't really have to differentiate too much between your ones and twos and your seven and eights. Then your three o'clock is gonna be retraction to nine o'clock protraction in front and then down into that other quadrant at four o'clock to 10 o'clock and at five o'clock to 11. You can progress that scapular mobilization into some weight bearing. So elevation, depression, retraction, protraction, again looking for Smooth, controlled motion. This is really good for people who chronically get knots um, and they think they're, they're tight. If they have no ability to control the descent or actively raise and, or symmetrically raise, probably just weak and uncoordinated in uh, those muscle groups. Also with this, you begin a little bit of the postural integration because sometimes with elevation, people want to protract your, their chin. So keeping that tucked and then don't let yourself go fall into a lordotic position as you're doing the depression phase of it also.